Ford Jackson takes care of more than just their new recruits. As migratory bird populations decline, many of them depend on military installations for nesting, feeding, and breeding. James Williams takes a look at how Ford Jackson conserves the bird population there. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> a place like Fort Jackson is very, very akin to a national forest or a national park or a national wildlife refuge. If you look right outside the gates of Fort Jackson, it is nothing but development in, in most cases. So we really truly are an island here in Columbia, South Carolina of habitat. Maps, it's monitoring avian productivity and survivorship. This is a program that is um, done by the Institute for Bird Populations. Open them up and then at the end of the day we close them back down. Well, we do the net runs, nothing in this one. And if we have birds, we bring them back to what we call process them. Determine one species, we want to get the sex, their breeding status, whether or not they're breeders here. Slight feather wear, I'll give it a one. An age. South Carolina has uh, earmarked uh, at least a dozen species that pass through the Midlands area of South Carolina, which is where we are that are of, of special concern. Uh, we're losing sometimes double digit percentages each year uh, when population counts are done. We're really getting a, a pretty broad look at what is here and it goes into a very large database and we can see um, trends uh, over a number of years. This gives us a, a, an ability to say, well, while these aren't endangered species and you know we're not limiting uh, training or exercises around here we can show that these birds are doing well or not so well in high traffic high training areas if we can continue to show that this habitat is healthy and and does not show any adverse effects to the traffic and the training we can say you know what what we're what we've been doing here has been more than sufficient we don't have to limit we don't have to ask you to stop <laughs>